Hello fish friends, good to see you again. Uh, today's episode is going to be what you can do sometimes in the middle of the day just to catch something. Uh, you'll see at the beginning of the video, last week I went to the pond, I went swim bait against my favorite red shag culprit and I was getting tore up by just little tiny bass. Um, they were just biting my worm in half. I did catch one of them, you'll see him, he's tiny. So I you knew I was going back this weekend and taking my niece over there for her birthday lunch. I'm going to try and get some footage. So I uh, had gone by a while back, the fly shop there, there's a high-end fly shop right there at Strike Zone on Beach Boulevard. And I bought two or three of these little poppers. I started thinking about how those fish were hitting the water where the line is in the water, making little rings. Bass were coming up and hitting that. So I said, what would happen if I said, heck with the worrying about size, it's time to get some little bass out of there. And I actually used this popper. So you'll see the footage and uh, how that went. Hope you enjoy it. I got one, I got one, I got one. I got one. Oh golly, he was out deep. I thought for sure I was gonna have one. Oh boy. So that is, and he was out deep. Oh man. I thought for sure I had one that time. Well, I did have one, but I just thought I had a big one. This is out deep. Look at there. Got him. So that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, and I thought if I came back today with my little secret here, Got another one. Got off. No, I got him. Okay. Yeah, they love this little popper. Well, that's what this is. This place is overrun. I know there's some big ones in here, but there's so many little ones. Look at there. When I was a kid, I used to use them on a cane pole. And just, just for fun. It's fun getting a top water strike. I got one. I got one. Look at there. Man, that's fun. That is fun. I know they're little fish friends, but there's some at a top water strike. And another little one. Maybe he didn't. He did. I got it. Man, is that fun. Man, is that fun. How many of them are in here? I got him, I got him, I got him. All right, all right, there's another one. Man, those are fun. No monster, but he's a little bigger. Okay. I got him, I got him, oh boy, okay. All right, I think I've proved my point here. I think you can catch the little bass in this pond on a popper. That's what I call it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he wanted to get mean. Ooh, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Man, he hit it. He said, that is mine. That was exciting. Got another one. Oh, yeah. Hey, now that one's a little better. I had a feeling if they were hitting my fishing line, not even a hook, just a line, then, then they'd hit this. So sometimes you gotta match what they're biting on. scar the paint on it there we go hey that one's not too bad got him whoa calm down boy he's green he didn't have time to get mad all right well I found out how to catch these little ones out of here 
didn't I? I had them chewing up my worms. Okay, that's what you can do sometimes, just when you know a pond's just infested with small ones. I mean, there are some big ones in there. I got one over two, and I got one that one uh, that you see in Fat Bass Fiesta is the name of the video. Uh, got that was drop shot in there, and I got a couple good ones that day. So I mean, there's some big ones in there, but it's so overrun with little ones. In the middle of the day, they are just fighting for what they can get. So I went after them today, and sure enough, the popper worked out. Everybody, keep fishing.